Good morning. Still have my PJs on. Um, I am going to do a quick little intro to our holiday cooking collab. We're each making a some kind of a Christmas treat, and um, I'm making fudge, and Alex from Life with Sugar is making cookies and Sandra from Sandra Brooks Brown is making cupcakes and then there's a couple other ladies that I'm not sure what they're making but you have to go over and see I'll put the, I'll put all the links down below uh, Nina from just underscore Nina is joining us and Sharon it's Shim, from simply Sharon so all these are wonderful ladies so if you don't watch them you should so I'm going to put all their links below and go down and watch what they're making. Give you some new ideas for yummy stuff for Christmas. And here comes my fudge. Here it comes. I just got to turn this off. I'll see. Keep watching for the fudge recipe. All right. This is a Christmas goodies collab we are making. Let's see if I can find that. Oh, I just lost the recipe. We're making original fantasy fudge there's usually a recipe on the back of this but it's not the original recipe so you got to look up the original recipe it's slightly different and the original one's better so you need sugar chocolate chips evaporated milk jet push marshmallow cream stuff butter and you also need some vanilla which I haven't got yet so the first thing you do is you put your sugar uh, make sure I'm right actually you can grease a 13 by 9 inch pan or use parchment paper and it comes out easier with parchment paper so I'm gonna try that this time I usually grease it but then it's hard to get out so we're gonna try the parchment paper so we've got one Three cups of sugar. I know it's a lot of sugar, but it, it is fudge. <laughs> uh, one of these little pop toppies. If I can get it. Uh, if you can't get a pop top up, a little hack for you. <laughs> Just pop it up with a knife. To get enough up enough where you get your fingers underneath it at least. There we go. thought of another hack for you when I was putting my eyeshadow on, something I wished I had have done. When you open your makeup, particularly your eye makeup, put a date on it, then you know when it's expired. Two thirds of a cup of this. So I have a whole bunch left, but my granddaughter might be able to use her new coffee, I'm not sure. Or I can make more fudge later, because I'm taking this over to my one son's. So the people here will want some too. So we're just doing, oh, the butter. We're gonna do the butter, the milk, and the sugar. And then we're going to cook it for a while. You have to, this, the worst part about this is you cook it for five minutes, boil it for five minutes. Then you don't start the timer till it gets, um, I usually use you, the clock, the, my phone for the timer, so I'm going to have to watch the clock. So you don't start the five minutes until it's it's melted and boiling and all that. I would advise a wooden spoon. So, and then after that gets that cooks for the five minutes, then you add two cups of chocolate chips and stir that up and get it all melted and then you add the marshmallow cream stir that up till it's all melty and then you add the vanilla and then you can add nuts too if you want but we don't like it with nuts so i don't know if you can see over there right there there's a pumpkin on my dish towel hanging on the stove <laughs> i have another hack for you oh i did the hack i did the makeup hack never mind i don't have another hack for you 
So I'm not going to make you wait five minutes while I boil the the sugar and the milk and the butter. So we will come back after I do that. Alrighty, this is how it looks after five minutes of stirring vigorously. It takes, it thickens up quite a bit. Now we're going to add two cups of chocolate chips and stir them until they melt all the way. It's hard to do with one hand because I usually hold the handle <laughs> the other end. But it's getting there. The next one I might have to, I'm going to need two hands so while I'm getting it in the pan, I'm going to have to turn the camera off for just a sec. Okay, that's ready. Now we add this. Alrighty, we got a big blob of marshmallow cream in here. Now we need to stir that up good. It takes a little while for it to melt. And get incorporated. It's like a, just a big hard glob, so you want it to get... No, oh, I've got not got this heat on anymore. This is just the heat of the sugar that's melting all this stuff. Let's see if I can. There we go. I can hold it and hold you at the same time. Just might jiggle you a little bit. <laughs> so you want to make sure you scoop all the stuff up off the bottom so you don't have it all streaky. See how there's that dark streak right there? This gets your hands tired because you're stirring constantly, really vigorously, for five minutes while it's the sugar and milk and butter is cooking, and then, um, I almost forgot to put the vanilla in. Let me put you down for a sec. Okay, there's the vanilla. See it on top? Put a teaspoon of vanilla in. So it's three cups of sugar, cube and a half of butter, or three quarters cup butter, whichever and two-thirds of a cup of evaporated milk and you boil that together after you get it boiling you start the timer and you stir it like, like that really fast and scrape in the sides and stuff where you'll get like little burnt pieces so do that for five minutes and then you add in two cups of chocolate chips and a mm, what size is this seven ounce can of marshmallow stuff. Doesn't have to be the Jet Puff brand, Kraft brand, it can be anything. And then we're gonna dump this in a pan, a 13 by nine inch pan that I put some um, parchment paper in, but you can also spray it with a spray. So I'll show you what it looks like in the end. This is what it looks like before it cools. And the reward, I get to lick the spoon. But be careful, the spoon's hot. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I will show you this, the finished product when it's cooled and cut into squares. You've got to put it in the refrigerator to give it cool because it's still pretty runny. So here's a Christmas treat idea. Talk to you soon.